Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing another creepy ghosty reaction video. This time it's to face some top five channel. Uh, the video is called Top Eight Scary Ghost Videos of Truly Terrifying Encounters. Remember to uh, sub to the channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the thumbs up on the video as well just to try and push some views. Leave your feedback, any comments are appreciated. Ring the bell for alerts for any further videos coming live. Um, we are trying to get back on schedule and get the ghost videos out every Tuesday and Thursday. And there'll be a bonus episode for members. And if you wouldn't mind popping by Faceham's channel, the link will be in the description. Drop them a sub as well. Be very grateful for that. In the meantime, let's get the cans on, give it a watch, and let's hope it's a creepy one, shall we? Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Today we're taking a look at 8 truly terrifying videos. Number 1. Reddit user Federal Entertainer 21 bought a house in North Wales back in 2018. This home was built in the 1850s and has a long history behind it. Well, a few years later, while he was doing some landscaping in the garden, he accidentally discovered something buried beneath. After digging it out, he eventually identified it as a well that he assumed was buried for over 70 years. But when he used a pickaxe to crack it open, he had no idea what would happen next. As he cracked open the well, a ghostly scream came from inside. This haunting scream echoed throughout the well and sounded like the voice of a young girl. At the time, this man wasn't afraid, but rather puzzled as he had no idea who or what was causing this sound. So could this eerie noise be the voice of someone on the other side? Or is there a more logical explanation? No. That could have been anything, really. It could have been an animal, just the creaking of the stuff he was moving metal underneath or something i don't know creepy though i, did, I wonder if he carried on and it would be interesting to see what actually happened after that number two what do you guys think over on the paranormal subreddit a user that goes by grass valuable posted a video asking if anyone thinks he caught something paranormal According to this user, on the 20th of July, he went to an open house of a place that was built in 1891. As he walked from room to room, he was the only person inside. His wife wasn't able to make it, so he began recording on his phone to give her a good look at the interior. But when he later played back his video, something was caught in the main bedroom upstairs. walked into the room and panned his camera from right to left. A chilling disembodied voice was caught. <laughs> this bizarre noise almost sounded like a distorted laugh. And oddly enough, the man recording claims that he didn't hear this at the time. People in the comments said it simply sounds like the person recording breathing heavily. Now, I'm not sure how these people breathe, but this definitely does not sound like breathing to me. And I just have to point out that there was one thing I thought of when I heard this noise. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Faison. He's pretty amusing, to be fair. As I said at the beginning, please drop, drop by his channel and drop him a sub, because he, he is entertaining. Three. A Reddit user that goes by Century Tuna Lover works at a hospital and has had plenty of interesting experiences while on the job. Well, according to this Reddit user, about four to five years ago, the clinic staff at the hospital were taking a few photos. But as they closely examined the pictures they took, they noticed something unsettling. In the reflection on the floor, a thin silhouette can be seen standing behind the wheelchair. This eerie, transparent figure looks to be holding the handles of the wheelchair and is possibly wearing a hospital gown. 
With this terrifying sight is undeniably the outline of a person, but clearly there's no one behind the wheelchair. That's creepy. Century Tuna Lover claims this photo is 100% real, but let me know what you think. That is mad. If it's legit, that is crazy. What do you guys think? That's... It took us a while to see what I was looking at there, but as soon as I saw it, it it's crazy, that like. It could just be a trick of the light or whatever, but it seems strange that there's like nothing there to cause a reflection. Number I four. like that, that's a good one. Over on TikTok, a woman named Rosanna has meticulously documented every eerie encounter she's had in her apartment, determined to capture proof of the haunting she's been plagued with. I think we've seen a few of these up to now. Okay. Where'd that bang come from in there, in the bathroom? The rules moving, but that may just be the drafts off the door. There's nothing there to actually bang other than the loose seat, is there? Rosanna began recording after hearing banging coming from her apartment that she couldn't explain. But as she turned around, the scooter hauntingly rolled That's towards her. She cautiously stepped closer, moving the scooter back in place, when suddenly a bang came from behind her. A few days later, as she laid in bed, she began to hear footsteps walking in the hallway. She was paralyzed with fear as she struggled to grab her phone, but this is what she managed to record. It would be creepy if you heard that when you were asleep, like... hiding in that big cupboard. Inside, proving that no one was in the room. But as she stood in the doorway, the clothing rack suddenly lunged towards her. Five days later, once again looking into the hallway, she witnessed something that made her hair stand on end. I think we're seeing this one at one point. That would be terrifying, that night. Anything to do with babies and stuff is creepy as. I think that is just a big window, isn't it?
Doesn't seem to be any strings or anything. Uh, flickered as the tiny rocking horse began to move back and forth. She made her way over, scanning the room and showing that nothing was attached to the horse to make it move. And as she stepped away from the room, the lights once again began aggressively flickering. According to Rosanna, all this activity led her to contact a priest to rid this spirit from her apartment. But just a few hours after this priest left and Rosanna was trying to sleep, things took a horrific turn. Is that some throne or an orb or Okay. That's mad. Disco. Bloody hell. Flashbang. After trying to find the source of a noise, Rosanna witnessed the toilet seat lift up on its own. She quickly rushed back to the other room, where things immediately took a turn for the worst. From the door closing, the lights viciously flashing, and an object getting thrown to the floor, the entity in her home sent a very clear message that it was still around. Rosanna continues to document the events in her apartment, and I'll make sure to keep an eye on her account for any further updates. Number five. Yeah, th there's a lot going on there. Like, um, it could be cleverly staged, but you'd like to think people were genuine about. I know there's a lot on, but you would like to think people were genuine about stuff like this. But there seemed to be stuff flying from loads of different angles. There, it was weird. What do you guys think? Why? 16 years ago on a YouTube channel called Double Bins, a video was posted of a terrifying encounter caught on camera. On a sunny day back in 2008, two teenagers decided to explore a local abandoned house. This house had clearly been left untouched for years, piquing their curiosity. With a camera in hand, they carefully approached the house, eager to see what they could find inside. But while exploring, they came face to face with something that sent them running. So, let's go in the house. Uh, do we go in the warehouse or the... Um. Like, this is like 16 years ago where we said and the camera's like a potato. But we still got footage today where the camera's quality goes like this for some reason. Like UFO sightings and stuff. What's all that about? Let's go to the regular house. Right. We've got 4K bloody cameras on our phones. Dude, and we end up with footage like that. Whatever happened in the house? I don't know. Just stairway. What, what is that? <laughs> I think it used to be a garage or something. No, because the garage is that. But it had to be. Yeah, that's like a warehouse, though. Yeah. Look we'll at the roof, it's all f***ed up. Sorry, I'm looking at the other little OBS screen because that's hurting my eyes looking at the big one. Where? In there. Look. Oh, yeah. Come on. What the f? Look at that. Huh? Too glad. The oven. The oven door. Where? In the middle of the living room. <laughs> 
The roof is off. Justin's. Holy sh! Dude! Oh my! Go! Go! I I swear I saw a okay. person. Dude, there's a person. Holy sh! Yeah, there is. Nick, I'm not. After the guys casually strolled inside, they wandered from room to room. But as the guy holding the camera angled it up towards the roof, a sinister dark figure was caught walking by. The shadowy figure unexpectedly walked across, immediately catching his attention and sending him running. Because of the potato quality of this video, it's hard to tell if this could potentially be paranormal or possibly just a person lurking in the old house. Either way, both possibilities are equally terrifying, as living people freak me out more than ghosts. I agree. Number six. Yeah, it was a bit bizarre. Like it says, even if it was a person, why were they up there in a derelict house like that? Like, but um, their reaction seemed genuine enough. What do you guys make of it? On a small YouTube channel called May 091985, only one video was ever posted. As a hiker was trudging through a hilly area, they suddenly stopped and their eyes widened in disbelief at what they saw in the sky. With their fingers slightly trembling, they grabbed their phone and aimed it towards the sky, and this is what they caught. Dude on a jetpack. As the hikers stared at the mountain in front of them, their hearts skipped a beat at the sight of a strange black silhouette suspended in the sky. This peculiar anomaly eerily looks like a person somehow floating amongst the clouds above. If we take a closer look, this is clearly not a plane, helicopter, or drone. And throughout this entire 30 second video, this unidentified object remained completely still. Now I don't know whether to call this an alien, a witch, or a ghost. But whatever this is, looks pretty badass. This Number seven. That could have been anything. What do you guys say? It could just be like a balloon, like a ship, kids balloon or something. You see, that it didn't actually move. It was drifting, but the figure itself didn't actually move. It was the strange part of that one. Ever. You think if it was like a jetpack guy, be some of that like, but. In September of 2023, a video was posted to Facebook that caught the attention of 1.3 million people. With over 20,000 likes, viewers have struggled to explain what was caught in this footage. A man named Jarek is a taxi driver from the Philippines that was driving late one night when he spotted a woman waiting for a lift by the side of the road. He pulled over to pick her up, but what happened I think next we're saying this still hasn't until this Weird. day. It could just be a ploy, but it's, his reaction does seem legit. He's either a very good actor or... Sabi. 
After pulling over, the back door opened and closed, and Jarek claims to have seen a woman wearing a white and purple dress enter the vehicle. But after cruising down the road for a short time, he glanced at his mirror and discovered that no one was in his back seat, and the woman from earlier had vanished. Incredibly confused, he looked around his car in disbelief. Till this day, Jarek is adamant that a woman entered his car that night and firmly believes that this video is proof of a paranormal encounter. Number 8 yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, see, his reaction seems quite legit. But we have seen that one before a while ago, to be honest. Back in December of 2009, a video was uploaded by YouTube user Amar419. While at work at Sawyer Elementary School, located in Chicago, a man named Dave headed to the boiler room to help a fellow employee. When he got to the basement, a woman named Evelyn was clearly shaken up and explained that she witnessed a door slam shut on its own. Clearly afraid, she asked Dave to take a look. Luckily, he thought to start recording just in case anything else happened. And these are the events that followed. All right, I'm with Evelyn Stems. We're using this recording here uh, due to a statement. She says that there's been things in the back area that have been. All right, explain to us what happened, Evelyn. I was with your mother's supplies. I don't want to go back. Well, I'm here. I'm here now. I don't worry. Just come with me. All right. What? So what happened? The dog just shit on his own and just sat by himself, Dave. All right, hang on, hang on, just wait. I don't want to go back there. Let me just take a look. Now, you say what happened now? This door shit by itself. Itself, Dave. All right. Let me see. I'm looking. I'm not going back there either. What, you scared? I'm, I'm not, not going back there. I, I, I'm feeling, I got a funny feeling about this. Oh, the door's closed. I mean, it was open? It was open and it just slammed back there. All right, let me see if I can get it. Don't worry. Okay, go, no. Well, go get your, your whatever your oh, material okay. is. Oh, David. I don't think I want to go there. Come on, come on, go ahead. Oh, yes. Everyone, just go. No, no, no. All right, hang on. I'll go. Hang on. Okay. I'm right, I'm right here. I see the door. All right, go get your stuff. I'm right here. Don't be. Hold on, wait a minute. Just wait. Is there anybody back here? Go ahead. No. What's that? Oh, my. Oh, my God. No way. No way. Did you see it? I'm cold. I'm cold. Hold on. Mr. Ortiz, Ortiz. Stand by. Stand by. As Evelyn crept forward, the chair in front of her ominously slid across the floor. This sudden movement sent her running as she screamed in terror. Dave just looked on in shock, struggling to believe what he just witnessed. So was there a dark force lurking in the boiler room, or was it all just a hoax? I think we might have seen that one before as well, but it is quite entertaining still. The reaction is mad. Before we end this video, I have one more honorable mention. A Reddit user called Miss Hallie Ann says that one day while she was scrolling through Facebook, she came across a post from a friend that caught her eye. According to her friend, a motion notification from her security camera suddenly lit up her phone. Not thinking much of it, she swiped up on the alert to take a look. But her eyes widened when the first thing she saw was this. At 9.22 p.m., what looks like a baby running by can be seen on her porch. The image of this tiny infant definitely caught her off guard and left her a bit unsettled. She immediately ran to her porch to see if she could find the small child, but there were no signs of anyone or anything outside. Fearful that there was now a lost toddler, she called the fire department to come investigate. 
but after thoroughly searching the area and using a heat-seeking drone on the nearby lake, they were unsuccessful at finding anything. And to make things even creepier, this eerie baby only appeared in one frame of the video. So now we're left with this disturbing image of a baby and That's more questions right. than answers. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to hear more from Yeah, please do drop by his channel and drop him a sub. Beautiful for that. Some good stuff again there. Enjoyed that. Uh, I've seen a couple of them at the end there prior, I think, but it was still good to watch again. Uh, it's been a while. Any thoughts? Let us know in the comments what you think about any of those clips and stuff. There's some good, there was some proper creepy stuff in there. That photo one with the wheelchair was tremendous for me. Like, but um, yeah, as I said, please sub to the channel, hit the thumbs up, leave your feedback in the comments, ring the bell for alerts for any further videos going live and for my live streams and stuff. And if you want to discuss it, you can come by my live streams and have a chat there. I'm not entirely sure of the timings of those yet, but I'll probably end up just doing the normal 10 o'clock slot at night, but um, we'll see how things go. But yeah, thanks for watching, do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.